day. It is not that day, it is this day. It is not just this day, it is the great day. <laughs> it is not just the great day, it is my day. Once upon a time, my day. The fourth day of December in this year of our Lord and Savior, 2023. Our once upon a time is about the painter's trouble. The painter's trouble. Once upon a time, there lived a famous painter. He was loved in the city where he lived. He was celebrated, or oh, he was just a household name. Thousands and thousands of people used to come to see his art exhibition. People would never get tired of praising his work. One day, one day, he thought, is it that people praise him only in front of him and talk about mistakes in his work behind his work behind his back thinking this the next day he woke up early in the morning and took one of his paintings at a busy intersection of the city there, he kept his painting with a note written below. Whoever finds any mistake in this painting should put a mark on that place. So, he left it there and he went home. In the evening, when he went to the square, to see the painting, he became so sad as there were hundreds and hundreds of marks on his painting. Seeing this, he got very disappointed and silently picked up his painting and went home. This incident left a negative impact on him and he stopped painting and started shying away from meeting people. One day, one of his friends came to visit him. Seeing him, his friend realized that the painter was so troubled by something and asked him the reason. The painter narrated the whole incident to his friend with a sad heart. Listening to it, his friend asked, Let's do one thing. Once again, you put this painting made by you or another one at the same intersection but this time with a different note. The painter agreed. So the next morning, he put a new painting at the intersection, one of his best for sure, with a note written below it. Whoever finds any mistake in this painting, correct it. Aha, uh -huh. and he went home and spent his eternity at home. <laughs> eternity of that day. <laughs> In the evening, when he went and his friend to check the painting, he again was so surprised. It was still same as it was in the morning. The painter was surprised to see this. His friend noticed his surprise and said, 
Do you understand something? Any fool can find mistake as the most fools do. That is their special calling. <laughs> but there are very few people who can correct those mistakes. There is no point in unnecessarily taking the opinion of people who only want to find fault with others and humiliate them. When they neither have time nor knowledge to improve themselves. Therefore, my friend, understand that the fault was not in your picture, but in asking advice from such people. You trusted fools to help you improve your painting. See your life. <laughs> ha! The painter understood his friend's point and started doing what he loved to do. And he became more and more popular. And he made more and more money. And that makes the end of the story. He learned his lesson. We have also learned our lesson. Let us go and make money. <laughs> but before we make money, let's take some lesson home. I don't know whether you have noted in your life that there are people in this republic whose work is purely to find the mistakes. I have been on social media for those of you who do not know, by the way, I have been on in social media for 16 years plus. Consistently, I never got out a single day. 16 years. <laughs> and I have noted people who always wait until when I have made a mistake. Sometimes even a typo. And they will never talk about the whole episode. Or the whole uh, information they talk about a missing T or a missing S or whatever. There are people, uh, sometimes back I, I worked at a radio station for more than six years. And there were people, even some religious men and women, who could only call when there was a mistake. <laughs> now, if you are waiting for those people whose work is only to humiliate you, to help you improve what you are doing, my dear, you are going to die of stress, if not depression, if not suicide. Get this. You should never, you should never, you should never take advice from everyone. It's not written there. You take advice from everyone. No. If you have to take advice, then take advice from those who have knowledge of that field. Number two, take advice of people who are where you want to go in life. Take advice of people who can challenge you, who are better than you, not fools, who are always looking for the mistakes you did in the typing pronunciation, whatever it is that you did, those are fools in life. Always avoid becoming that person who only knows how to fight the mistakes. Instead, be a one who should try to become a person who, upon fighting mistakes, they actually correct the mistakes. When the people were asked to correct, they never corrected because of their foolishness. Their work was just to put this man down. There are people in this world whose sole occupation is to put you down. My dear friend, whenever you interact with the work of another person, if you find any mistake, correct it. Please do. Correct 
that mistake. And I tell you this morning, this day, as your priest and servant, if you are in this category of people who only look for mistakes, my dear, you are a fool on this great Monday. Liberate yourself. And you people, you who is always being put down because someone said something nasty about your work, you need to know that human beings, some not all, they have a problem with the people who are succeeding more than they are. In fact, let me give you a secret. From my personal experience, when you do something and you succeed in whatever you are doing in your field, even among the circle of your friends, you multiply enemies. So know who you listen to. Know whose advice to take. You may be having sleepless nights because you have been listening to fools. <laughs> Once upon a time. Let me go and paint. 